everybody, I'm David, and this is Wine Forecaster. Well, I'm feeling kind of lonely today because Leah's not here. She had to work late. She's at the office still, and that means she's going to miss tonight's wine tasting. And we have a really nice wine to try. This is um, Belangelo's 2013 Ceval Blanc. We did a Belangelo review back for the Memorial Day review, and that was combined with a couple of other summertime wines, and it was the uh, Cabernet Franc Rosé, and it was really, really delicious. So this is something that uh, I have high hopes for. Uh, Belangelo, they, they specialize in a lot of, um, you know, distinguished Finger Lakes varietals, and um, you know, this should be a pretty good bottle of wine. So we'll get started with this. Very pale. I have a white shirt on, so you can see it's a very pale, light yellow, almost, uh, well, yeah, light yellow. Almost has a little bit of a, of a light gold appearance to it. I did not chill the wine. But if you were having this uh, on your own, you would. So it has a, 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 a very um, light nose. Um, there is some um, a light straw um, smell to it and a bit of a, a melon, maybe even a, a light grapefruit nose to it, but it's very, very faint. And that might open up a little bit. Um, in fact, we'll let that open up a little bit well, I just want to discuss with you another another wine term, and that and that kind of goes with this. It's it's called corkage, and for those of you that like to go out to restaurants, you know, there's times you know they'll have a wine list, and and you can certainly select a wine off of their wine list. And of course, the restaurant would like you to do that, um, but a lot of restaurants will also offer you the opportunity to bring a bottle of wine to the restaurant. And when you do that, it's usually expected that you will pay what is called a corkage fee. The corkage fee might be anywhere between $10 or $20, and it might be more expensive if you go to a, a, um, a upper scale restaurant. What you should expect for that $20 or $15 is that the waiter or waitress should, number one, open your wine for you. Number two, should provide you with good stemware. Now, if I was at a restaurant and I was bringing a nice bottle of wine, let's say that was 50, 60 or dollars or up, number one is I would try very hard not to bring a bottle that they had on their wine list because that's almost rude. Um, but number two is I would expect that the restaurant would provide me with a good glass, one with a thin rim um, and is um, you know, a Rydell or a Spigolo, something that is good quality. Having the, the round bubble glasses with the, the thick rim, you know, that happens to me from time to time, and, and I really don't like that because, you know, I, I, if I'm gonna get that, I'll just drink, my, I'll bring, I'll drink the wine at home in a nicer glass. I just don't wanna have that real thick rim of glass there. So, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars is an appropriate corkage fee, and, uh, you know, that's, that's what you should expect for that. So, today I opened the wine for you. You don't have to uh, uh, pay me any corkage fee, but unfortunately you're not going to be able to taste it. So, let's see if anything changed here. No, it's about the same. So, it's, it's, it's very light, and again, I, I, can, I can smell a, a straw or hay-like component to it. There seems to be a little bit of a light grapefruit and or, or melon nose. Mm. So the taste is really nice. It's got a, a very smooth complexion to it. A little bit of acidity, but not too much. Um, it's medium dry, and uh, again, I can get a little bit of the melon taste to this as well. Um, let's try again. Also, almost has like a brininess or saltiness to it. A little bit, which is uh, which is nice. It makes it, it probably is um, adding to the crispness of the wine, which is pleasant. Very very nice. Yep. 
Uh, this would be a wine that would go great, probably with like a Swiss cheese, a light salad. Um, you could just sip this wine, you know, take your time drinking it, there's no rush. Um, if you have guests over, this would be a nice um, starter wine, just to get everybody kind of loosened up and, and uh, into the party or into the event. Um, or if you're having it for dinner, again, this would be great with salad, um, light food. So I think the, uh, the, the winemaker, um, they have a technical sheet there, which was very informative on their website. And this was not put on any oak and did not go through any male lactic fermentation. Sometimes Sable Blancs are. Um, this one did not, but I think it's really, really nice, and I, I don't think it really needed it. Uh, they're on Seneca Lake, Belangelo, on the west side, and uh, this is 100%, I believe it was Gibson Vineyard, which is just north of Fair Winery. So uh, I, I'm really glad that they gave me that information because that's stuff that I like to know. And, uh, you know, just as you become a wine geek, these are things that kind of mean a lot to you, and uh, the next time I visit Belangelo, I'm probably going to be interested to see where Gibson um, vineyard is. So, all right, well, go out and grab a bottle. Try Bellangelo. They, they are producing some really nice wines. I think this is really delightful. Um, it's their 2013 Save El Blanc. I'm David. This is Wine Forecaster. We'll see you next time.